Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is how to import bulk Excel data to Dataverse using data flows. There are multiple approaches to work on this particular requirement. In today's video, I will cover how we can use data flows to move data from Excel to Dataverse. So let's quickly get started. This is the CSV file. So let me open the spreadsheet file as well. So yes, this is the spreadsheet file. If you see over here, I have around 18,000 records. So we will see how we are going to move this data into Dataverse. Before we start working on the data flows, I just wanted to highlight one important point. So or whatever the data is present in the Excel, it should be formatted as a table. So before you start working with your data flow, make sure your data in the Excel is formatted in the form of a table. If you are not aware about it, what you have to do, just select your data range, click on format as table and select any of the table from here. Your data would be converted in the form of a table. If you are not sure whether your data is formatted as a table or not, the easiest way to do is just go to this particular option format as table or go to table design and you will see over here table name tbl underscore employee. So this is the name of my particular table in this Excel. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll go to the data flows. My Excel is ready. Over here, I am inside my power apps make.powerapps.com and over here on the left navigation, I can see this option called data flows. If it is not available for you at your end, what you can do, click on more and you can look for this data flow option over here. And if you want, you can pin this option from here. You can also click on discover all to see all the available options in your particular environment. Now I will click on data flows. From here at the top, I see an option to create a new data flow. I will create a new data flow. I will name this data flow as DS Tech Mirror Demo. DS Tech Mirror Data Flow. Okay. Then I'll click on Create. Now over here you could see there are multiple sources available which data flow supports at this particular point in time. Excel Workbook, SQL Server Database, Dataverse, SharePoint folder, SharePoint online list, web API and CSV format as well. But we will see how we can move the data from the Excel workbook because this is the one of the most common requirement. So here I'll select our source as Excel workbook. Now over here we have to set up a connection with our Excel file. There are two options link to a file if your file is stored let's say in OneDrive or SharePoint online or if it is present in your file system. Right now, my file is present in my file system. So I'll click on upload file and over here I can browse my file. I'll copy the location from my particular. I'll go over here. I'll say browse and even I can drag and drop as well. So now it will take some time to upload the file based on the size. Since our file is not very large, it doesn't take much time. Now connection automatically it's selected. In your case, it is uh, it's not or I, I would say if it is not a picking the connection, what you have to do, you have to set up the connection. How you will do that? Let me tell you. In my case, because I have already created few data flows, so it has already picked the connection which I have already created. Let me see if I can create a new connection. See, this is how it will look for you if you are creating your first data flow. Connection name, data gateway, you can leave it as none authentication kind you can select as organizational account and then it will ask you to sign in and automatically it will ask you to sign in you can select your username and then it will create a connection now over here there are two connections i can use any of the name if you see over here i didn't pick the connection name so it automatically pick if you want you can name your connection as well let me use the old connection on this one and I'll click on next. Now what it will do, it will show you all the tables present inside the Excel workbook. And then you can select the table from which you wanted to upload the data. In our case, it is TBL underscore employees. So I will select this and over here, this in this particular space, you can see if this is the same data which you wanted to upload. Yes, and then click on transform data. 
Now over here, this is kind of a space using Power Query. What you can do, if you wanted to do any kind of data cleaning, you can do over here. If it is a simple upload, you can simply click on next. But if you wanted to do any kind of data transformation, you can make use of this Power Query pane and it is very simple and very effective to use. Over here, if you see, you, uh, you can do the sorting of you wanted to change any of the data type if you wanted to filter any of the records let's say if i want uh, i wanted to show or show only the records or i wanted to upload only records which are male or female i can do that if i wanted to upload only records belonging to the manufacturing unit i can remove over here i can select only the manufacturing and i can click on ok so automatically what it will do it will do the filtering so you can use this space based on your requirement there are multiple options you can remove rows you can rename your column i said as i said you can filter your uh, filter your data all this kind of stuff you can do over here then i'll go next because i wanted to upload all the data now over here what i have to do i have to do the mapping i have to do the mapping with the dataverse table in my case i have not created a dataverse table in advance if you have already created you can select this option load to existing table or load to a new table in my case it is load to a new table table name tbl underscore employees table display name same if you wanted to rename the table name that also you can do that's fine over here on the right side over here you could see the source column source column destination column and destination column types if you wanted to do make any change over here again you can do that for example business unit is text if you wanted to change to multi-line text you can do that also it is showing you the destination column name which it will create city city uh, this is the source column in the data verse your internal table column name city column name would be this one then unique primary name column it is auto generated or you can select any of the primary name column which you wanted to use so to select the primary name column what i'll do i'll go over here and i'll say okay i will use this employee id as the primary name column i'll go over here and i'll say this is this will be my unique primary name column now i'll click on next now over here I have an option to refresh manually or refresh automatically. If I select refresh manually, then uh, every time I have to come over here and uh, select the refresh button, then only it will refresh the data from the Excel to the Dataverse. Because let's say in going forward, we are adding more data to the Excel, so it can do that as well. If I select refresh automatically, then I have to select the frequency. Refresh every minute, hour, days, week, month. Based on the frequency, you can select that and your data will be automatically refreshed so these data flows are very powerful and very useful in my case i will select refresh manually and send refresh failure notification to the data flow owner in case your data flow is failed because of any xyz reason you will get a notification and then you can go and publish it now after this your data flow is published you see ds tech mirror data flow and draft status so it is uh, published is in progress it will take some time and after this uh, this data flow would be published so let's wait for uh, some more time so guys it took around three to four minutes and now this data flow is published and refresh is in progress so now what it is doing it is moving data from excel to dataverse so again it will take some time to this refresh to get completed if you wanted to see you can click over here and you can say show refresh history and over here you can see the progress this is it starts at around 1 9 and let's see how much time it will take to move records around 18,000 records so i will be back once this refresh is completed so guys now you can see the status is succeeded so it took around 12 minutes uh, 11 minutes 56 seconds to complete this data flow and 
Status is succeeded. That means it has moved all the items from the Excel to the Dataverse table. So it's time to go to the Dataverse and check. So I'll close it from here. Now to go to the table from the left side, I will select the tables. Over here, I'll select the table which we have created. Our table name was TBL underscore employees. So this is the table. So you see that our table got generated because we have not created this table manually from here. We have actually data flow has created this table and over here i can see all the records now uh, your question should be over here you could see only few records how like you can validate it how you can check where are, where are all the other records so you see for this particular id e0005 how many records are there in this particular excel 18 records but over here how many records we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten still i cannot see all the records so guys uh, the problem is in data verse i am not able to find any way how we can count the total number of records present in this particular table if you guys are aware about anything please do let me know in the comments now i have two ways to find out how many records are there in this particular table one is create a power automate flow in that i will count account the records or get this table in a power bi using a power bi desktop and over there we can see how many records are there so i'll take the first approach i'll just duplicate this particular tab and let's go ahead and check in the power automate i already have the power automate flow ready with me i'll go to this particular solution and I'll just refresh go to the cloud flows and over here i have dataverse count rows i'll go and edit this edit a new tab re-authenticate okay oh my bad i'll re-authenticate all these connections later yeah so this is the flow now in this particular flow what i have done uh, this is a instant flow manually trigger a flow then i have used list rows table name and over here i will select our table name tbl underscore employees okay after that uh, if i go to the setting nothing is there or just what i have done i have enabled the pagination because we are dealing with the large number of records so please make sure that you enable the pagination if you are creating a flow to check the count of the records this is very important otherwise you will get the wrong result okay now and after that i took a compose and over here i have used one particular expression just to get the length of the previous step i've used this length function to get the length now i've updated my uh, flow and what i will do i'll say publish and then we will test it this is just a warning i will ignore it Publish successful and I'll say test manually test run flow. So now our flow will run again. It might take some time because of the number of records present in that table. Our data flow over here, if we go by the status of the flow, it shows that status was successful. So I'm assuming we should get all the records present in the particular excel so everything is done let's see the count over here and we are getting eighteen thousand. so this is the output eighteen thousand. if i'll go to the excel i have eighteen thousand records guys if i just remove all the filters i say go to the home data clear filter so you have total eighteen thousand records so this is one of the way through which i am able to validate whether uh, we although there is no need of validation because when your data flow is saying that it is successful that means it has migrated or it has moved or it has synced all the records but just for the purpose of this particular video i have created this flow so that i can showcase you that uh, data flow has moved all the records inside the dataverse environment so that, so that's it for today's video if you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. Till then, much love, keep learning. Thank you.